Well, I just fabbed this bandsaw table. This is a old Craftsman wood bandsaw. And what I did is convert it so I can cut metal on it, so I can slow the speeds down uh, with this controller. Uh, this is off an old piece of equipment, so it was part of the stand. I kind of cut the stand in half to kind of uh, make the space smaller that it takes up. Um, I'm going to get ready to paint it, but I thought I'd walk you through what I've kind of thrown together. Um, this is the controller for the speeds. Um, I built a little cover. Protect yourself from the belt. Um, but then I'm going to paint it and reassemble. And this is just old Craftsman. Built very well. Good bearings in it. Um, I have basically taking this cabinet, added a couple more pulleys on it so I can get the gear reduction and more torque out of it by doing this. So it's running onto a small pulley onto a larger pulley and then, uh, and then I'm going to transfer onto the smaller pulley and it, it allows it to kind of have a little bit more torque on the bandsaw. Uh, and and the cool thing is this motor will uh, will the little DC motor will uh, kind of slow it down or speed up whatever we we kind of need. Uh, that's just an old Dayton motor I had laying around. So um, and then I just kind of made a little cover on the side here to protect these pulleys. I'm gonna leave those pulleys on there uh, so I can add some other things later. Um, figured it would be handy, whatnot, and there is the other half of the cabinet. Uh, basically, made this guy so used to be one unit. Used to be an old paper slitter, but uh, I've just changed some stuff on it and kind of made it work. And I'm gonna make this uh, another little cabinet. Put kind of a shelf on the door. And I put some drawer runners inside, so should be fun. I will uh, go ahead and show you more uh, as I get this thing painted. All right, I just got the bandsaw done. Uh, super cool. Uh, I'm gonna try to cut some metal on it, see if it'll work. You guys will be the first ones to see. But uh, you can adjust your speeds on here pretty easy. Uh, hit the button and uh, you kind of see the blade. It's super cool. Try to put the safety glasses on. But it turned out pretty cool. Um, it's uh, all painted up. Kind of see, I'll spin this guy around. Looks good. I've got all my controls under here, like I showed previously. Um, I think it's pretty sweet. Let's uh, cut a piece of metal. Let me throw some gloves on. All right, so this is an old blade. I don't know really how good it is. And uh, we'll see what happens with it. We'll just go ahead and start cutting. Oh, 
Well, that cut pretty well. I just had to adjust the speed a little bit, but we'll practice a little bit with it. Uh, but that is the bandsaw. I mean, it's an old Craftsman bandsaw, which I just adapted with a different motor, different uh, belt system, uh, with a variable drive, and, and I put it in this cabinet. Um, if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. Uh, if not, subscribe anyways. <laughs>